Body condition score is a visual and a tactile assessment of pets' weight and whether or not they're appropriately conditioned. So uh, I like to look, think of looking down on a pet from the top and looking to see if there's any waste and how much of a tuck there is. I have to say Addie's a little bit on the chunky side. It's something that we all fight when we get to this age. Um, but I, I think that it's really important to keep them lean because we know that dogs that are uh, a healthy weight typically live 20% longer than their matched paired siblings in studies that have been done. And also they have less medical problems because the weight sets them up for all sorts of medical conditions. An easy way to tell besides visually is tactile. When we feel our pet's chest, you should feel um, the ribs about the same consistency as if you were feeling the back of your palm. This is normal. If you're feeling the knuckles, that's clearly too thin. If you're feeling like the meat of your palm, that's way too thick. So we, can, we, we typically score them at a scale of one to nine with the average dog feeling uh, pretty much like we would feel like on the back of our palm. Uh, it's also important to weigh your pet on a regular basis because underweight dogs oftentimes are missed. Uh, I see that a lot of times owners do not really detect any weight change in their pet until they've lost at least 25% of their body weight. That's a lot of weight. That's for someone like me, it could be as much as 10 pounds. Spayed and neutered pets. Are more prone to gaining weight because their metabolic rate decreases. And typically, pets are spayed and neutered when they are juveniles, somewhere between six months and a year, although that's been changing of late. And that's about the time when their metabolic rate starts to drop anyway. And most owners continue to feed their pets if they're puppies. So I have to say that, you know, if, if we're cognizant of the caloric intake that they're consuming, then it's not difficult to manage. But unfortunately, most pet owners connect through the, to their pets through the food bowl and through whatever they feed them. And the portion controls are very easy to lose track of. 